Hi everyone and welcome to my place. Today I'm here to help Wendy who lives in Austria. Wendy's getting married and she wants the colours of verdigris. She wants something that goes into a rustic tin. She wanted hydrangeas, she wanted lime green, lisianthus, she wanted some coxcomb or um, lamb's brain or celosius as we used to call it. Um, she wanted to know if she could put fruit in with those things because they're going to be married on an orchard. Hope it's an apple orchard because that's what I've found. Easy, easy, easy designing. I love this tin, it's all, and it's sort of got a little bit of, of verdigris into it. And what I loved was with the hydrangeas, the colors were connected through, you know, when you look at them, I thought that was quite special. I've also got some lamb's ear here because it is the same sort of gray tones of the container. And she doesn't want anything that's too difficult. She doesn't want anything that's too big. And she wanted something that she could do as a beginner so that it, she'd heard me say, you know, do your own flowers and you'll always stand proud at the end of the day. Right, I'm just gonna put that water into there because I'm not wasting it. That foam's a bit dry. Oh, by the way, I'm using the green foam, which is specially designed for fresh flowers. It, you soak it in water until the bubbles stop rising, rising to the top. It takes up about 10 or, or even more times its own weight in water. It's easy to stick the stuff in, you know, your stems into, and it's a really great weight once you get it into your container. Now what I've done here is I've just put a little group of those over there, a little group of those over to there. What you will find with the lambs here is it will go droopy droopy, but don't worry about that. Now I've got two, I only got, well I've only got two hydrangeas, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that leaf, just push that into there, and then I'm going to put that to that side. I'm going to repeat on the other side by putting that into there and then I'll push that so that that's just a little bit higher. So I've got one a little bit higher and one just a little bit lower. Now with the coxcomb or the, we used to call it lamb's brain but it's actually celosius, I'm just going to put a little that there push that in as far as I can. It's lovely stuff. Look at that, that beautiful interplay of textures and form. It's gorgeous. Now I'm going to bring another one up beside that into there like that. So the, it's actually like, looks like cauliflower. I'll push that down into there. And then I've got, what else have I got here? I've got the apples. I'm just going to put that apple into there, which is also a lovely, beautiful green form. So you've got all this rustly stuff happening over here. This sort of like really sort of like texturally sort of like corally stuff and then those lovely little apples in that side. Now I'm going to bring this around here and I'm going to put another one of those coxcombs or the celosius into there and I've got another lot of apples. I'm going to take that there out of there and I'm going to leave that leaf onto there and I'm just going to push that into there and I just love how that sort of like is that leaf up there all on its own. Who said you can't? We're just doing something rustic and delicious here. Right, I've got the green lisianthus which is another green and I'm just going to put those into a little clustered formation into here like so and fill those into the middle. The great thing about the lisianthus is of all of the flowers as well as the hydrangeas, they're wonderful long, long lasting flowers. And when you get into, hold on, I'll just do this, finish this before I start going off on a tangent and we all get get a bit lost in translation. Now, if you girls or boys out there have got anything, any questions or anything that I could help you with, please do not hesitate to drop me a line. That's at astersplace at gmail and give me as much detail as you can. And if I can help, then I will certainly go out of my way to help you out. Right, look at that. Easy, easy, easy designing. It's sort of not really balanced, but it is balanced because you've got these lovely, it's all green and round and there's lots of lovely ups and downs. Now that what I was going to, I wanted to say to you is, the great thing about these lisianthus, even once if I've only got just a few little heads like that, I just cut those short and put those into a vase of water and they definitely grow, which is just fantastic. So I'm just going to put, they grow and they continue 
continue to open. That's exactly what I wanted to say. But I've got this little space around here that needs just a few more. And you know, what's that saying? Waste not, want not. That's how I like to view life. And I've got that little leaf there and with a bit of luck that will just fit down and into there. And there we have the finished design. I hope that that's been of assistance and I look forward to seeing you another day. Thanks for watching. Thank you.